Hi, I'm Sean from Rollcall, and here is a quick and easy guide to using the EasyLine Edge applicator system. This is the applicator, and this is the heavy duty, easy carry case that contains everything you need to assemble the applicator, no tools or previous experience required. Inside the case, you'll find a bag with some spare parts and a battery, the handle unit, and the base unit. You'll note as we go through the instructions that all of the adjustment points are colour coded yellow. When assembling the unit, make sure that we put the battery in first. The battery goes in here. This activates the fan. And the fan draws in air through the side, forces the paint on the inside of the line for a nice crisp edge insert the handle, making sure that the can holder is between the two large front wheels. We can adjust the height of the handle, like so, and we can change the angle of the handle. Once the unit's fully assembled, we need to follow the step-by-step -step instructions on the base. So the first step is to make sure that the red silicon teeth are in place on the masking plate. Step two is to insert the masking plate into the front of the unit. On a brand new unit, this will already be inserted. Step three is to use the yellow adjustment wheel to wind to the desired line width. In this case, we'll use 75 millimeters. Step four is to adjust the can holder height to make sure that the colors match up to the winding wheel. That's 75 in the yellow zone. To paint a straight line, we can use the pointer to follow an existing line or a chalk line. If you're left-handed, then insert the pointer onto the right-hand masking plate. If you're right-handed, then insert it onto the left masking plate. It clicks in like so. For straight line stability, we lock the arms out at a 45 degree angle. And lock the wheel out as well. To paint against some curbs or a racking, then we can change it like so and able to get nice and close next to the curb and racking and still get a straight line. For freehand marking, leave the wheels in line. With the new Easy Line Edge applicator, this enables you to paint a curved line, which is especially useful for sports courts and play areas. You're now ready to prepare the paint. It's important to note that the Easy Line Edge paint can only be used with the Easy Line Edge applicator and no other brand. For best performance, use the paint between 15 degrees Celsius and 25 degrees Celsius. This is a high solid content paint, so we need to make sure that it is fully mixed. You turn it inverted, you shake until you can hear the rattle, and shake for a further 60 seconds. Once you've done that, you can remove the cap. Each Easy Line Edge paint will come with a yellow nozzle. To insert the nozzle, simply place over the valve stem and click into place. You can then insert the paint into the applicator, turn it upside down and orientate the wings of the nozzle into the right position until you hear a click, like so. When preparing to paint a line, we recommend resting the applicator on a piece of card. It protects the floor from any accidental triggers and gives you a nice straight start to your line. We also recommend brushing away any debris before you paint your line. To apply the line, we need to make sure that the width is correct and you can apply anything between 50 and 100 millimeters to make sure that the battery is turned on as well. And because we're next to a straight edge, we're going to realign the arm and the wheel so we can get nice and close. And start painting your edge and walk nice and slowly to ensure a consistent application of the paint. You will need to walk slightly slower when painting wider lines. When you finish painting a line, it's important to remove the paint from the applicator and clear the nozzle of any paint. You do this by pointing it upwards and away from yourself, like so. This stops the nozzle from becoming blocked. When cleaning down the applicator, wait for the paint to dry, remove the masking plate, can wipe it with a paper towel, remove the silicone teeth, and wipe away the paint. You can then use the pointer as a scraping tool 
to remove paint from the masking plate. Again, paint shouldn't adhere to the masking plate. You can also remove the protective plate underneath the applicator to clean it of any paint.